Greetings everyone and welcome back to another one of my astrology videos. My name is Sean Van de Veen, and this is a continuation of my series of Pluto in the Zodiac signs. Today I'm going to share my knowledge of Pluto in Leo, a period when the baby boomer generation came into this world and that the world was at war. This Pluto placement lasted between 1938 and 1957 and it was a time when the great totalitarian leaders, Hitler, Mussolini, and Stalin, ruled with an iron fist and sought to spread their domains through terror. It was also the dawn of the nuclear age, as atomic weapons were developed and threatened the very existence of humanity itself. It was when ideals of democracy competed against fascism and communism. As soon as World War II ended, the Cold War began. Even among those born with Pluto in Leo, plutocratic and authoritarian tendencies are evident with the likes of Vladimir Putin, Xi Jinping, and Donald Trump. But it also signaled the start of a great technological leap forward as scientific research and development was needed for the war effort with the introduction of fighter jets and long-range bombers. When the war ended, that progress was transitioned towards innovating everyday domestic appliances, such as refrigerators, kitchen ovens, and freezers. The quality of life for many people in the West significantly improved by the time Pluto entered Virgo. But what exactly constitutes Pluto in Leo energy? Well, we have to break it down. In astrology, Pluto is the planet of death, destruction, rebirth, regeneration, transmutation, transformation, totalitarianism, and catastrophes. It is personified by plutocrats, war, terrorism, nuclear weapons, atomic energy, massive social upheaval, and dictators. The Nazis, with the reign of terror, the horrific tragedy of the Holocaust, in addition to the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, clearly exemplify the worst of Pluto's negative energies. The zodiac sign of Leo, on the other hand, is the sign of royalty, confidence, power, and leadership. And it too is very authoritarian. As a result, Pluto is actually exalted in Leo, making it a very heightened expression of power. As individuals, Pluto and Leo natives are born with great charisma and creativity. They shine very well in the spotlight during any kind of occasion. Their powerful presence speaks volumes, drawing everyone else towards them. As parents, Pluto and Leo natives can be very domineering and dictatorial towards their children. Their leadership style is not at all democratic and will go to great lengths to condemn anyone who goes against their rules. Pluto and Leo natives, therefore, are natural kings and queens. They will pursue leadership in companies and government ruthlessly. And once they've reached the top, they'll reach the height of their self-expression. They make excellent CEOs and presidents of corporations. And if the head of the state of a nation, they are unshakable. The word presidential is also very befitting of them. In order to best serve the larger social order, Pluto in Leo natives must learn to use their charismatic power in a humanitarian way. Pluto is a very karmic planet, and it often represents the area in our lives where evil must be overcome, which is why Pluto in Leo must learn not to harness the echelons of power with an iron fist. After all, Aquarius is the opposite sign of Leo, and perhaps the greatest lesson they must learn is to master their own self-interests to serve the collective whole. To gain acceptance and best serve humanity, they must use their strength responsibly with compassion for those under their leadership. If their intentions are noble and courageous, just like the mighty lion, they will bring positive transformation to civilization. If, however, their methods are selfish, egotistical, and authoritarian, they will invite their own destruction and self-undoing. 
Egotism is especially inherent in these natives with the influence of the sun ruling Leo and Pluto being so tyrannical. I must also mention that Pluto transits through zodiac signs or long in duration, often spending decades in each one. This is due to Pluto's elliptical orbit around the sun and due to the fact that both planets are so far apart from each other. It takes Pluto approximately 248 years to complete one orbit around the sun. Thus, the effects of Pluto's energies are generational, affecting millions of people simultaneously rather than just the individual. Whenever I discuss Pluto in astrology, I like to point out the historical events that took place during its transit through a particular zodiac sign. So here are some major historical events that took place while Pluto was last transiting through Leo between 1938 and 1957. The information I've gathered was from wikipedia.org. Okay, so in 1938, we have Germany annexing Czechoslovakia without a single shot being fired. And in 1939, we have uh, the start of World War II as uh, Germany uh, conquers Poland in less than a month. And in 1940, France, Belgium, Norway, and the Netherlands are conquered by Germany. The Royal Air Force uh, fends off the Luftwaffe in the Battle of Britain. And in 1941, we have the German invasion of the Soviet Union commencing. The United States enters the war following the bombing of Pearl Harbor. And in 1942, uh, Germany expands its war effort into Africa. Japan and the United States fight each other in the Pacific Theater. And in 1943, we have the uh, Siege of Leningrad broken. The Battle of Kursk is the largest tank battle in history that's fought. And in 1944, we have uh, D-Day, the invasion of Normandy by Allied forces, the beginning of the liberation of Europe. And in 1945, we have the conclusion of World War II as Germany and Japan surrender. In 1946, Italy becomes a republic. And in 1947, the Cold War begins officially and India gains independence from the United Kingdom. And in 1948, the uh, World Health Organization is formed. And in 1949, uh, NATO is founded. And in 1950, let's see here, the uh, Korean War begins. The uh, fight with uh, North uh, versus South Korea. And in 1951, the 22nd Amendment to the United States uh, Constitution, limiting presidents to two terms, is ratified. And in 1952, King George VI of Great Britain dies. Queen Elizabeth II takes the throne. And in 1953, Mount Everest is finally conquered as uh, the British expedition reaches the top. And in 1954, we have the world's first atomic power station opening near Moscow. And in 1955, we have the official start of the Vietnam War. And in 1956, we have uh, President Eisenhower signing the Federal, Federal Aid Highway Act of 1956 creating the interstate highway system in the United States. And in 1957, Tunisia becomes a republic. So there you have it, the rise and fall of an evil empire and the beginning of hostile tensions between the United States and the USSR. This period also marked the death of colonialism with many African nations gaining independence. It's, it seems as if the mighty king was dethroned during this uh, transit of Pluto in Leo, as transformational forces brought the fall of brutal dictators. So, 
This has been my analysis of Pluto in Leo energy and its latest transit between 1938 and 1957. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to my channel. I have many other astrology videos for those of you who love to study the stars as much as I do. So, I'll close by saying peace, much love, and namaste. God bless you. Be safe and kind to one another, and I'll see you in the next video. Godspeed.